Hello everybody out there and welcome back to another weekly comic book called Dear Lord, the clouds have parted, the sun has finally shined through. We got our comics on time. Yes, it's on Saturday, but that's okay. It's a lot better than Wednesday the following week. Oh, this is a good thing. But anyway, before we get into the books that we got this week, uh, really quickly give you guys a little bit of heads up on some news. First of all, we just did Dark Avenger Live episode 62 yesterday. We had Spider-Man, we had Deadpool, we had a great time for an hour, and everybody had a ball the first hour. If you guys missed it, please, I implore you guys to go back. Have some fun the first hour as you watch um, Spider-Man and Deadpool have their thing. Mike and I worked really hard on doing that. And then afterwards, there was another announcement that's, um, that I made, which I'm going to give you a briefie of it here. You can find out more information on the place where I'm going to tell you about, or you can go back and watch Dark Avenger Live episode 62. I believe I talked about it almost towards the end. So you just go back and watch the end of the, the live show, and you'll be able to know what I'm talking about in depth. Basically, <clears throat> I talked about creating a Facebook, I'm stressing Facebook, group called Dark Avenger Nation. Now, by no means is it like Dark Avenger Inc. or Comic Frontline. It is not. What Dark Avenger Nation is, the short version is, it's you guys. The voice behind Dark Avenger Live. Brant made the, uh, came, gave me that uh, idea. And Brant's a brilliant man. Have I told you guys Brant's brilliant? Because Brant's brilliant. Did, did I tell you guys that? I'm not sure if I've told you guys that or if I've told you guys that enough. But he's brilliant. So basically Dark Avenger Nation is you guys. Not even really me. Obviously, I'm part of the Dark Avenger Nation, but it's you guys mostly. So the idea came from uh, after I've noticed the way our community, and when I say our community, I mean myself and you guys in the comments, you guys who are friends with one another in the comments, how things developed since I brought Dark Avenger Live back and how things have been developing in other videos as well. So I decided to create this group, and it's Dark Avenger Nation. And... It is a private group, though. I will let you guys know in advance in case you find it on Facebook. You try to add, you, you try to join, and it says pending approval. There is a reason for that. The group is not for sharing our videos only, or sharing other people's videos, or sharing, um, you know, basically promoting our, our pages. It's not for that. If we wanted to do that, we'd join a comic book, you know, or another type of group page. This is a group page to help continue the conversation between one another uh, beyond just Dark Avenger Live. Something that we can continue as far as the conversation between myself and you guys or you guys amongst each other 24-7, 7 days a week, 365, 66 if it's a sleep year like this year, days in a year. It's just a way to keep communication open between the community. Yes, there is a trend though where you can share videos. But mostly it's to share, like, did you guys see this article? Did you guys hear what Vince did in wrestling? Did you guys see this new anime that came out? Did you hear this? Or just a plain question, which everybody can answer if they pop in the group. Now, I'm sure everybody's wondering, well, can we join? Is there a way to get into the group? Absolutely. Come on a live show. Join the comments in the videos. And... Um, Make yourself known. You know, let us as a community, myself and everybody in the comments, get to know you. And as time moves forward, um, and we get to know you guys more or gals, depending who you are, um, yeah, we'll put you in the nation. And we want to expand Dark Adventure Nation. It's important. We want to really get Dark Adventure Nation up to a million people if we can. But it is, of course, a slow start. Right now. Dark Avenger Nation is 19 strong. Hopefully by this time next year, it will be 19,000 strong. 19,000 people who are all friends and who are all part of the same nation brought together for the same cause. And that is just everything and anything from Pokemon to anime, which technically Pokemon is anime, but Pokemon cards to anime, from anime to wrestling, from wrestling to toys, from toys to collectibles, from collectibles to comic books, from comic books to just news in the world, whatever. Basically, a place where we can all sit down and talk about the things we love most, regardless of what that is. That's why I love what I've done to this channel. I've added a little bit of everything, so there's something for somebody, regardless what you like. 
Except Yu-Gi-Oh. I'm sorry. I haven't bought Yu-Gi-Oh in a long time. Maybe one day. Not today. So I'm really excited about Dark Avenger Nation. I have big plans for it. But honestly, it's not me. Once again, it's you guys. You guys are the Dark Avenger Nation. I'm just the person that it's happening on this channel. And hopefully, in a way, this will help us all grow to know each other better. You know, help build strong friendships, build strong bonds. And hopefully you guys will be popping on each other. I know you already are. Most of the people in Dark Avenger Nation pop on one another's channel and comments one another's videos. That's awesome. And that's why it's important to nurture and help grow the Dark Avenger Nation. So anyone who's already in the nation knows if they have friends, to have them pop on sometime during you know a Dark Avenger show, or if they're close enough friends that you trust that they would mesh good with Dark Avenger Nation. We've already had two people like that. And there are a few people from uh, Comic Frontline who've popped on Dark Avenger Nation, which is awesome. And the nation is slowly growing. It went from a mere nine people when I created it uh, two weeks ago to now 19. That's 10 people in one week. Let's pray that the nation grows more. And as the nation grows and hits a number that is significant for me to say something, I will mention it on a whole video where Dark Avenger Nation has now reached 100 200, 1,000, 2,000, whatever, we will uh, continue to expand the nation. And hopefully it will be something amazing one day. That's my hopes. And to be honest, again, it's not for me. I hope it's something amazing so that you guys, A, will have something amazing, and B, will enjoy doing something amazing. So Dark Avenger Nation's not me. I'm in it. I started it. It's based off of my, my channel. I know, my channel. But it's you guys. I'm just another person in the nation. And I'm really excited to see where this goes. I remember a long time ago on Brooklyn Boys and when we first started Dark Avengers. See, when I first started this channel, there was a description on the old layout of YouTube channels. And I created a list that says the Dark Avengers. And underneath it, Anybody who wanted to join just had to give me their name, and I would put their name on that list. And I remember I had a list, man. It was like 300 people almost. And we had a blast, and then YouTube updated the channels, and that was erased from all existence. So Dark Avenger Nation is another way. And if you don't like Facebook, don't worry. Still join us in the comments. Still be around in the comments. Still comment on your own. Something else will be coming in the future. That's all I can say at this time, but there will be more in the future that goes beyond Facebook. And it'll be a better and easier way for all of us to, or all of you guys to communicate where I know a lot of people don't like Facebook. Kevin does not like Facebook, does not have a Facebook. I still to this day can't understand it, but a good friend of mine, DNGN, who is an awesome, he's been commenting since he found me, and uh, he's an awesome comment, doesn't have Facebook. So... We do something to help and make sure that everybody can be involved. So there will be something in the future. But for right now, we're in the present. Let's talk present. Uh, any other news? Stay tuned. This weekend, we'll have a few things. I uh, have to play catch-up, though, for Anime Weekly. Uh, but after that, there'll be a couple of things here, there, and everywhere. So without further ado, do Oh, you guys will notice I did Just Cause 3. Uh, I did a FLI, which is first look and impression. I didn't put the A. It's F L I. Uh, that's what. That's the other gaming series I decided I want to do on my channel. It's basically just a first look. Anything beyond that will be on Frontline Gaming Zone. So we did a first look and impression on Just Cause Three. Anything from that point on will probably be on Frontline Gaming Zone, unless I do a random live stream. And mostly random live streams will be on open world games. So this way it's not really doing a storyline or anything. It's just open world exploration craziness. Um, but that will be a different, that would be a morning stream, basically. FLI is for newer games to give you guys a first look and to share my first impression on the game with you guys. So that's something you can go check out. I believe right now, I still have yet to create the playlist, so if you go back a couple of videos, it'll be on my uh, uploads list. I will be making a playlist uh, tonight for it. I will remember. So that's it. Now let's get into the books. Let's talk about digital books first. We got Aliens, Vampirella. I believe this is issue number six. Final issue of this. 
from Devil's Do. I've been seeing a lot of this, and I'm really excited to try it out. It's the Badger. Uh, this book I read for leisure. I just realized that. Whoops. <clears throat> but it might show up, but I'll leave it a mystery. We got Deus Ex Universe, issue number one, based off of the Deus Ex game that's going to be coming out this year. And speaking of games coming out this year, I believe this is coming out in May. That's the other game. Mirror's Edge, Exordium, issue six of six. This ends right uh, uh, before the game begins, or a year before the game begins. I've read it already. Yes, I got excited and wanted to read it. So this game, uh, this comic, after this comic, the game takes place a year later. Or six months, whatever. It takes place after. Dr. Mirage, second live, the Death Divine Dr. Mirage, second lives, issue number three. That's Mike's Valiant. Uh, we got Batman and Robin Eternal, issue number 19. I'm really excited for this. Oh, oh, this is such a good book. My voice cracks. Green Lantern Corps, Edge of Oblivion, issue number two. It's going pretty strong. Oh, wait, no. This should be issue three. Two or three? I don't know. I'm going to go with two for now. Maybe I'm just crazy. It's late. Uh, all new, all different. Avengers issue five. This is going to be my make or break the issue. Because I've already dropped new Avengers. I've already dropped Uncanny Avengers. All that's left is all new and all different. Let's see where this goes. We got all new X-Men issue number four. I'm enjoying all new X-Men. This one has a Wolverine X-23 cover. We've got Black Knight issue four. Recently, um mentioned that Black Knight issue 5 will be the last issue of the series. Uh, they will be um, uh, ending Black Knight with issue 5. Guardians of the Galaxy, I believe this is issue what? 5 or 6? I don't know. I don't know what issue number this is. It's not on the cover. 5. Issue 5. Uh, Old Man Logan, issue number two. Gee, I wonder who's going to win this fight. Got Spider-Gwen, issue number five. Red Hood Arsenal, number nine. Starfire, number nine. There's a lot of number nines. Got Deadpool, issue seven. 25th anniversary. This was a $10 book, ladies and gentlemen. Let's pray to God that it's worth that $10. Because if not, I'm sure we'll hear from Mike. Got Red Wolf, issue number three. Got Silk, issue number four. And then we finally have Deadpool, a uh, Spider-Man Deadpool, issue number two. Those are all of our digital books for the week. Free at your local comic shop. Let's get into some physical free stuff. You've got the all new stories um, for Marvel. This is the Marvel uh, a free. I can talk tonight, man. This is the Marvel previews book. It's free at your local comic shop. Apparently, there's going to be an event in uh, Extraordinary X Men as well. But it previews all the books that are going to be coming out soon. Gives you guys an event. You got Pleasantville on the front, which I'm hopefully going to possibly skip. And then you've got X-Men Apocalypse War coming for Extraordinary in March. The other freebie, I feel like DC Comics does this like every six months. DC Essentials, uh, Essential uh, Graphic Novels 2016. It feels like I just got 2015s and, and already. Basically, it's an update on all the trade paperbacks that DC Comics has made. This way, if you want to go out and buy a lot of trade paperbacks and you want to make sure you get them in chronological order, this will help you. Or if you're looking for a specific event or whatever, you can look it up in this book. There's collectibles in here as well. It's basically uh, a previews book, but just specifically for DC Comics and their trade paperbacks and collectibles. I'm trying to find collectibles to show. Like these. So, those are your freebies. Now, the books that you have to pay for, because we love them so. We've got Street Fighter Unlimited, issue number three. I've been loving this series. Is it a miniseries or three? Oh, no, it just says cover A. I'm really loving this series. This coming week, on Tuesday, Street Fighter Five is coming out. We've got Darth Vader, issue number 16. We are out of Vader down. Will Mike be continuing this book? 
after this issue, of course. Uh, Wolverine, issue number five. Batman Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, issue number three. I'm really excited for this one. Got the Batman, issue 49, Neil Adams variant. As well as the Batman Superman 29, Neil Adams variant. Grim Fairy Tales 119. Only one more issue to go for Pat Shan's run on Grim Fairy Tales, and I'm really going to be very upset to see him go. Spider Man 2099, issue number six. And last but not least, Ninjak, issue number 12. That's all of our physical copies. Now, I did mention one thing uh, during mail time. I said if. Um, my other game came on time uh, before my comic books. I was going to do a part two to the mail time video. The good news is the game came with the comics today. So we also got, I'm sure none of you are surprised because this is the only other game that came out this week. We got Dying Light, the uh, enhanced version. Basically, this has the enhanced edition, all the enhancements to the game. Uh, Be the Zombie DLC, Ultimate Survival Bundle, the Bozak Horde. And then the newly released, just this past Tuesday, Dying Light, the following. So basically it's an expansion. It's like a brand new game because we do own Dying Light, but we wanted to get all the stuff on disc, even though it's probably going to all download onto our PlayStation 4 anyway. Um, we're going to keep our Dying Light where it is, and we're going to have some fun with this. So I might actually be doing a first look and impression on this game because Michael's the one that started playing this on Frontline Gaming Zone. So I might be taking a crack at it for this channel. And as a matter of fact, I have an idea for Dying Light specifically um, for this channel. Uh, so stay tuned for that idea. Anybody who has this for PlayStation 4, it says you can have up to two to five players. Um, if you are part of our friends list on PlayStation 4 and you'd like to join, let me know. Right now we don't have PlayStation Plus, but we're hoping to get PlayStation Plus next month so let me know now for March so we got our Dying Light um, enhanced game I'm very happy now all the games are here next week we've got another game week after that we have another game after that I think we get a little reprieve I'm going to I really feel like I should I want to make a list I might um, create a, a newer blogger and make a list of all the things we're doing and you know try to really make an official page out of it but till then um Stay tuned, and you guys will see what we're getting. But next week is Street Fighter, so there's no surprise there that mail time this week is going to be Street Fighter. Um, to what extent, though, you'll have to wait and find out. So that's it for this haul, guys. Links in the description below connected to every single awesome thing that we do on YouTube for you guys, which is Comic Frontline, Zone 4 Podcast, Frontline Gaming Zone, and Last Ember Press, as well as other things connected right here to Dark Avenger C86. Feel free to leave your comments below what you think about any of the books here. Any book we didn't show that you got this week. Dying Light. We also got Naruto Shippuden Ultimate Ninja Storm number four. Obviously, I got the Deadpool mask, so we had some fun during the live show. If you missed the live show, I hope you guys go back and at least watch the first hour. Have some fun and some laughs because we really had a lot of fun doing it. But till then, take care, keep reading, keep collecting, and I will see you guys really soon in the next video.